Mr. Speaker, I rise today with a heavy heart to recognize the 24th of August as the 23rd anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. On this date in 1992, the Category 5 storm made landfall on Elliott Key and then Homestead, Florida, killing 26 immediately, with dozens more fatalities from injuries stemming from the storm's aftermath. We continue to mourn this loss of life. The winds of Hurricane Andrew were calculated at 164 miles per hour and completely wiped out Homestead Air Force Base. Until Hurricane Katrina in 2005, Andrew was the costliest storm in U.S. history, totaling $43.7 billion when adjusted for inflation. As officials assessed the damage, they noticed that much of the destruction was due to substandard construction methods. As a result, Florida now has the strongest building codes in the nation. Furthermore, homes are now required to have storm shutters or impact-resistant glass. While we will never be able to fully prevent damage from a serious storm, we can mitigate the damage caused and thus reduce the costs of rebuilding our neighborhoods. The National Hurricane Center, located at Florida International University in my congressional district, provides important research on the effects these storms have on our coastlines and maintains a continuous watch on developing weather patterns that could become a tropical storm. I was able to tour this center earlier in the year and commend their efforts. The memory of Andrew forces us to remain cautious and vigilant so our communities and homes are protected. In the midst of this hurricane season, I strongly encourage all those in the potential paths of these storms to have a plan already in place to secure property and protect loved ones. By taking the appropriate preventative measures, we can ensure that our families and neighborhoods remain safe.